connecting you to the people that shape the communities and neighborhoods of Kansas City. This is Time Warner Newsmakers. Hello and welcome to Newsmakers. I'm your host, Nancy Lewis. We're here today in the World War I Museum and we're going to be talking a little bit about veterans issues. And I'm here today with Kansas State Representative Melanie Meyer. I know that you are the ranking minority member of the House Veterans Committee, so this is something that you think about quite a bit. That's correct. Uh, tell, tell me what you think is the biggest issue affecting veterans today. I think being here in the World War I Museum is a very apt place to have this conversation. I think the biggest issue facing our veterans today um, are helping those folks coming home from their deployments, the, our young veterans reintegrating back into society, into their families, and into Kansas, and getting good jobs. You actually um, looked at some bills this past session that would have um, looked at just that, how they can get back and get in easier. Tell me about that and tell me what passed through. Oh, we had a couple that I was really proud of. Um, one was the military spouses licensure bill. It helps the military spouses transfer their professional licenses into Kansas. Mm -hmm. um, so, so many veterans or so many soldiers are deploying nowadays and moving around so much that they're leaving their family behind because they really need that extra income from their spouse's profession. Right. And this would help them to actually stay together and keep their family together and come to Kansas and it also we benefit because we're getting trained professionals with experience into the state to work here. Uh, and I know another piece of legislation um, had to do with commercial driver's licenses. Oh yes, that was a great one too. Um, we're very proud of that one. So many soldiers are trained, especially in the Kansas City area, on their transportation soldiers and they drive these big huge trucks that have multi-axles through dangerous places where they're being shot at and then they'll come back to Kansas and it used to be they would have to take a very long and expensive course learning how to drive a truck or a school bus or something to get their commercial driver's license. Right, which well, they will have already been doing. Exactly, and right. they're already, they could probably teach the course. So this way they can bring in their experience from the military and credentials from the military and go ahead and get their commercial driver's license right away and get back to work. I know there were some pieces of legislation that didn't get passed through, including one that would have established a program of mental health care and reintegration for returning veterans. Talk a little bit about that. Well, many states in, um, around the country have been working on this, and our, our federal leaders are working on it also. Uh, with the multiple deployments and the post-traumatic stress that a lot of folks are experiencing, they need a little extra help when they come back. Um, it's hard to get back into your family life. Uh, some people can't believe that, but um, you've been in such a different situation for so long that coming in back to your family, um, it's a little harder to in reintegrate. It's harder to drive down the road and not be suspicious of every little piece of paper or package or something lying on the side of the road. So we, um, we're trying to set up a system with the Kansas Commission on Veterans Affairs where we can get those people help and get them back into their family life. And um, another part of that would be a veteran court system, which Wichita has already started on their own in their mm -hmm. municipal courts, working with soldiers that maybe they're having a hard time readjusting. They drive too fast when they get back or drink a little too much to handle the stress and might get in trouble. And this way they'll go into a court system where veterans are there and understand what kind of stressors they've been through and would get them into treatment or um, possibly avert having to go to jail for something that's just dealing with their deployment. Well, it'll be interesting to see what comes up this next session. Oh. Well, thank Thanks you. A lot. Thanks for being here, and thank you for being here. We hope to see you next time on Newsmakers.